a galaxy can be roughly defined as a collection of stars, gas, and dust, and they are all gravitationally bound as a single entity. These galaxies are the building blocks of our universe. In reality, we encounter a wide variety of galaxies. Some of them are elliptical in shape and are rather featureless. They are called the elliptical galaxies like the NGC 4150 galaxy shown here in the right. There are other galaxies too, which have a disk morphology and often exhibit spectacular spiral structure. The Whirlpool galaxy is a classic example of this kind of galaxies, which is shown in the left. These are called disk galaxies. Since they have the spiral structure, often they are alternatively referred as spiral galaxies. Now to understand the population of galaxies in a better note, one needs to classify them based on some common characteristics they share. It was the great astronomer Edwin P. Hubble who first classified the morphology of galaxies in the local universe. The resulting classification scheme is popularly known as the Hubble tuning fog diagram. As the classification scheme bears a close resemblance with the tuning fog structure, which is shown here. On the left, we have the elliptical galaxies, and on the right, we have the disk galaxies. The current understanding is that a disk galaxy grows in size by merging with other galaxies, and at the end, they become the ellipticals. Now our galaxy, the Milky Way, which hosts the solar system is also a disk galaxy, which has spiral arms. It can contain around 10 to the power 11 stars in it. Since we are residing within it, therefore you cannot see the full view. And the picture shown on the left is merely an artist impression. Nevertheless, some part of the spiral arms of the Milky Way is visible to us. Here is a picture showing a part of the spiral structure. This picture is taken from the from, from Aries, Noinital, India. Finally, there are estimated to be around 10 to the power 11 galaxies in the universe. Often they come very close to each other and therefore they pull or interact tidally. In the extreme case, this galaxy, one galaxy can get trapped into the gravitational potential of the other galaxy. As a result, finally they merge with each other. Here are some of the real images of the galaxy interactions where the galaxies are caught in the action. These images are taken from the European Southern Observatory's website. 